Hey, hello, good morning, good morning, good morning. Sunny, sunny, sunny part. Uh, today is Saturday, end of the week. Um, we're gonna try a little something. You know? I hope I'm not boring you. You like my new gifts. <laughs> something. All right. Um, we're gonna try to do lower control arm. 2006 Honda Civic SI You know I'm a Honda fan so it brought out the gangsterism in me okay ah, boy what a week long week I hope you are entertained I hope that say you learned something over the week in my last few as it says I'm Exodus and this is Exodus Automotive simple way of doing things try not to get hurt um, one thing is for sure my work is guaranteed um, in the business they say no comebacks and I am a no comeback type of guy you can't leave here if you're gonna come back don't make any sense. Hang around. All right. Stay tuned. Okay, okay, okay. Check this out. We're going to be doing lower control arm, left and right side um, control arm. Yeah, the complete assembly. This one here is customer brought his own control arms. I'm not responsible for the material. I'm only responsible for installing. Remember I spoke about this to you a lot. So what are we doing is this lower control arm ball joint inner bushings one complete arm okay we're greasing the lower sway bar links right here yeah and right here so it uses an Allen key inside. You see him, right? And you have two here. Now, my plan of entry is to break the nut. leaking oil everywhere as you can see all right is that good all right we can come around this way let's come around this way and see if we see better yep there we go okay let's shine the light on it there we go okay so Okay. So that's our links. 
that's all. Now, for the two desks back here. One of the reasons why we are replacing this load, what we're going to do is we're going to lower out, uh, I brought the car down, we are going to remove the tie rod end so that this way we can pivot the vehicle in this particular situation, this job here, you want to get as much clearance as much as possible leeway. Um, as we go along, I will show you the reason why you want to have these things out of your way in order to remove this lower control arm. It's not that it's difficult, it's just that uh, one side of it, the front bushing requires an angle or to twist and to turn, and when things are in its way, it makes it harder, okay? Okay, you know that say you're working around the ABS sensor, speed sensor type thing. Now I don't know which way this thing is gonna flex. So, um, you will say this quite a few times. Prevention is for always better than cure. My old lady, my father, my mother, my, for those of us who know that saying, then you know where I am from, with no hesitation, yes? So, this is the sensor. Most or all cars come with them now. I don't like for them to be damaged. Stretch the wire, none at all, because uh, you could stretch the wire inside and don't realize that it's broken until you put the vehicle on the ground and then you realize the light comes on to know that uh, either the wire is broke or the sensor is not in place, is not getting reading, all of that good stuff. So you just remove it. Now the tie rod end comes with a cotter pin inside of it. We take that out. We don't want to, oh, let me, let me cut off the end and cut off the other end and then now use the socket and put over it oh it's no problem but the problem with that is that um the threads are so fine they damage just like that when it comes time to put the nut back on what happens is that say the nut just keeps on spinning and spinning and you can't tighten the tie rod end make sense okay so get it out it's a 19 millimeter 3 8 bring the nut all the way up now you take off the nut yeah okay put the nut back on flat I don't know if you let's see if you can I'll give you a better view of it Make sure that it's flat to the top. Reason being, old school, we use a hammer and bow, bow, bow. Sometimes we miss, we hit the top, distort it, nut can't go back on. So, now this tool is priceless. It comes with a little cup that with the sit on top of the nut like that and then 
then this now comes down into remarkable. So I showed you the two ways that this thing can go. You can leave the nut on there, you can bang on it with a hammer and get it off. If you're gonna use the hammer, make sure you put the nut back on. Yes? Okay. Okay, so put the nut back on. I sprayed it with PB Blaster so that it may, I don't know if it, it loosens because these things are pressurized. Just put them to rest. If you have a bungee cord, tie them up where to say that it doesn't obstruct or come back to you in any which way. I love it. It's out of my way. So now you have free play to do what you need to do around the back here. That and it also relieves the pressure of the axle when we're dealing with the control arm. Okay? So now you have three. 17 millimeter on the bottom here, 19 millimeter, 14 millimeter here, and a 19 millimeter on the bottom here. So he goes like this. So let's try with the 19 first. No, 17. I apologize. If you do not have the size gun, you get in there. But uh, let's see. If... So my little stubby gets in there with no problem. Um, this is a 17. This is your 14 that the gun is on, and uh, you have your three. 17s on the bottom here okay so I loosened the 17 front I didn't take the bolt out remember I did not take the bolt out okay. and we loosened our 14 with the swivel let's come back to our 17 loosen the bottom one. Yeah. It's a feely feely type thing. Okay. All right. Now, now that everybody is loose, now you can remove the front bushing bolt, the 17. Okay. The 14. How you, oh, whoa, 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 dear buddy. Whoa, whoa. Let me move this out of the way. Control arm now. Let's go up. Hang on it. It is there. Okay. All right. This is the backside of our control arm. So now, pull down on it. The ball joint stays in place. Just lift. Perfect 
turn the ball joint where the studs are facing that it doesn't fall back in. Now you can move this thing out your way like that. Okay, so this is a Honda and you can have the clip here. Remove that clip. So they are not quite that tight, tight. Now, most will take it off the wheel, you know, the spindle off the car. But I am not going to take the spindle off the car. I'm going to try to break this one loose here and now because the new control arm comes with lower control arm, ball joint push. This is live. This is live, live, this is live. Bring it all the way up to its top. See, now we're even using the new one, but the nut is not gonna come off because of the axle. So. Okay. Now you can reverse the same fashion with the new one, if you like, or you could fight, 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 like it's your right. Okay, so we have our uh, new control arm here. You can try to uh, put it up. Have it tighten first and then put the arm in the reverse fashion. I think that will be your best option. Um, yeah, but you know, you say to yourself, well, um, Exodus, I don't want to disturb the ball joint and um, so forth. It's new, they may not warranty it and, and so, but they may not warranty it, but the headache that is it that you're gonna face with the axle trying to tighten the bolt between the axle and get the arm in there. That's why they designed it to separate, okay? Remember that, uh, you know, I, at least I think so. I, I'm not an engineer. I know how to make my job easier. The old man would say, work smarter, not harder. caught my finger. 18. You know that said this is a real man. That they, they did something something. Yeah. Now you wanna there you go. Be sure you don't get your bolts mixed up. The ones that came off of it is the ones that you put back on there. The ones that came off the car, you well, I keep them, but you discard those. Reason being is that say, if this control arm fails, if I have to take it back off, I wanna make sure that um, it's the way that they got it or the way that it was sold so that we are not liable for anything. Oh, he didn't put back the right bolts and it just stripped off and it did no, I do my job to the best of its ability. Okay, thank you. I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. So much time explaining these things, but I hope that it is worth it. I really do hope that it's worth it. Um, I'm teaching you something. Our ball joint, seeing that we have to tighten it hand tight, lock tight red in the threads but don't go crazy you know because you don't want just a little yeah on both sides just a little you don't and when i say a little i mean like a little because you don't want to put too much and then it runs down into the boot or right here and it gets in between 
the space, the little holes that it goes into. All right, so you don't wanna, you don't wanna do that. Okay, this little piece here, you don't wanna, uh -uh. so you put them in, push it up, make sure. Now, you're gonna have to give them a little space so that this way you can get the, the nut on. Yes, what did I do with the nut? Oh, the nut is over. They give you a nut, and, well, so, put it on, put the nut, catch, Put it on, catch the nut. Okay. So it's a good thing I'm not an actor. My director would have fired me. Push it up as much as you can and get as much thread as you can. All right. Try to get it as tight as you can. So you push it. Okay. Working down. Try to tighten it as much as possible. Now, uh, let's see if it's still a 19. No, this one is a 21. Okay. Now, hand tight is right there. Yeah. That's, for right now. That's good. So turn it or push it upwards like that. Okay. Control arm, left side. It has a little L on there. Okay. Now you can. So just move this guy over. It's not gonna stay, so uh, and I tell you something. See when you're working with aftermarket parts, most people don't realize aftermarket does not fit like dealer product. This has a particular direction it's supposed to go into when it's pressed in here. If you don't know, you would just press in the bushing. I learned that uh, it has a direction to go in there. I hope these guys did. Got to bring the car down, level. Yeah, this ain't gonna work with this aftermarket craziness. I can't knock a man, but. So. Let's get back onto this side. One second there. Let's bring the car down. 